Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we're at it, smack that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Liara is here because she's a member of my crew. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. There's obviously no peaceful way to settle this. Indeed. is filled with his light. Everything is clear. I expected better from Asari commandos. I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly. But the indoctrination is strong. You chose to join with Saren. You just got more than you bargained for. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. There isn't much time. 
I transmitted the coordinates to Saren before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. You're free of the indoctrination again? I still hear it like metal on metal, squealing and reverberating. Mother! Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. If you're sure they can be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. 
or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnar, mass-produce them, create an army. 
But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get Mera restored. to the facility and I'm at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds.
We need to hurry, Commander. My... Benezia said she transmitted the Mew Relay's coordinates to Saren. He may have already gone through. We can't follow him. That relay's inside the Terminus systems. They're not fond of Alliance ships over there, or Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren probably has his whole fleet in orbit around Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. They will assemble a fleet to accompany you. It is our only hope. Crew dismissed. Joker, alert the Council. Tell them everything. Aye, aye, Commander. the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. While they sit on their asses, Saren searching Ilos for the conduit. As soon as he finds it, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? I'll think of something. I just need some time. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way.
Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy.
Thank <laughs> you.